As soon as I stepped, the man turns around. The man pushed me. Pushed me. This okay, so before we get into this video, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Penny Learning Center. So if you guys are looking for a tutor and you're located in Ontario, more specifically Scarborough, Penny Learning Center is the choice. So basically, they're a tutoring company that services obviously scarborough because they're based in scarborough and the remaining surrounding area so they service like all the cities in durham they service like mississauga brampton etobicoke you name it they're there because they provide services in the classroom as well as like to your home as well so if you want them to come any of the tutors to come to your house they'll go and help you out so basically what penny learning center basically is they tutor everyone from kindergarten straight up to grade 12 and they also help with university prep okay i've been there a few times and trust me they are amazing so if you have an iep if ADHD if you have autism they specialize in it and when I'm when I was there and I was seeing like a few of the students that have like ADHD autism they were amazing I was so shook because I'm like how do you they work with them really well so if you guys are looking for a tutor check out Penny Learning Center I'm gonna link them on the screen follow them on Instagram contact them go on their website everything like that they're there to help and since right now we're in the pandemic they, they're doing a lot of uh, Instagram lives, so you guys can get a little feel of like how they are, who they are, what they do on their Instagram live. So go and follow them, and you guys can check them out. They're all about English, math, and French. They build on your strengths and they help your needs. And there's a free assessment, so you guys, you guys check them out. They're super, 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 super affordable. If you feel like you can't afford them, you can afford them because they create plans for each individual. It's very personalized. The amount that you pay is very personalized. So definitely check them out, guys. Penny Learning Center. Now let's get into this video. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, this video is going to be so long because there's so much that I have to tell you guys of what happened just for me to find a car. Like it's insane. So make sure you guys watch the whole entire thing. Hey. How yep. are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm here traverse in the corridor from <laughs> to spoiling. <laughs> yeah man. Yeah but okay so today's video we're going to go car shopping. I'm gonna try and find a car. We're gonna go around to different places. You guys are gonna see everything in the video. But let me tell you something. Jamaica is expensive and who doesn't wanna believe? I don't know what to say to you because in Jamaica, for you to even think about getting a car, you need to have like 10,000, wait, 1 million saved, which I would say like around like 10,000 Canadian dollars. So before I even decided that I wanted to think about getting a car, I had to save and save and save until I reached 10,000 Canadian and then and, and it's only then you can consider getting a car because down here they want to sell you like some old brook of used cars for like so much money so for like ten thousand dollars you guys are gonna see well what what one million Jamaican you guys are gonna see like they're gonna try sell me some like old like 2003 2002 cars and everything like that it's annoying saving for this was kind of hard I had to stop spending I had to stop going out and eating breakfast lunch and dinner all the time I had to stop doing my nails I had to stop doing everything and it was just so hard but I'm thankful now because finally I saved the money now I can start looking and yeah so some people might say like oh why didn't I just like lease a car finance a car one thing I wouldn't recommend people doing is like going into debt just to buy a car if you can't afford a car I feel like you just shouldn't be buying it but that's just my opinion so I rather just save up everything that I do in my life I save up and then I just buy in cash with everything when it comes to my phones when it comes to my cars or anything so I'm not gonna do any like debt things like because I want to buy things I want to have assets in the future when you have debt you're not gonna have any assets so I'm gonna talk more once we go around but yeah that's it for this part and let's get into the video Okay, we're at Juicy Beef, I have porridge, plantain, my fave, and then I have ginger tea, and then she got my fave, I can saltfish, fried dumpling, banana, dumpling, yeah, yeah, everything, all in yeah. juice. Usually I would buy that every morning, but I can't, I just can't really eat. I'm just waiting on Leon, when Leon comes, I'm gonna introduce you to you guys to Leon. He does, he does tattooing and smalling, so everyone comes to him. People from Boroughbridge, Brownstown, Cave Valley, Christiana, Wendable, like everywhere around like that vicinity. Yeah, that, that vicinity, they all come to Smalling to get their tattoos done by him. When you get tattoos done by him, it doesn't look cheap and like amateur, it's professional. And all my sisters have walked to him and stuff. So. Um, when he comes, I'll introduce you guys to him. In case any of you guys want to go up to him and get tattoos. Everyone 
everyone's going back to school. Exactly. So you see, every, like all the homewood. Like, every, I, well, I mostly been seeing everyone in the home who goes to homewood on the town. I haven't seen any Christiana or. Well, no. There's not too. Well, it's easier to just two guys. This is how the town looks. Okay. Have you guys seen anything like this? This girl ate the fucking saltfish and basically took out the nice parts. The, the what is it? The tomato. I think. Do you work here? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to look for a car. What kind of car? I don't have a specific. I have like one, one point three on this. This is 2013. Okay. This one's 1.3. But the inside is okay. Uh -huh. We're looking where it's falling, actually. This place kind of opened up recently. Probably like last year, mm -hmm. later on in the year. Okay, here you just. I'm gonna show you the pricing. This one's so small. Oh, inside's not too bad. Inside, this is very nice. This is not too bad. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. This? But well, the car is so small. Why is that? Like, look at it. How much is this one? This one is eight hundred. That's not bad. No matter what you say, no matter what you say, no matter what you say. I didn't press the button. This is what I like, guys. The Honda. The Honda down the middle. That's three point six. It's so nice. Can I see it? That one is twenty sixteen. Yeah, man. Okay, so this is the twenty sixteen. This is three point. I think you said six. I want this. Yeah, I like this. Oh. This is nice. This is so long though. Yeah, this is nice. But see guys, it's a 2016 and you're basically spending 3 million, which is around like 40,000. Well, he said 3.6, so just round it to 40,000 Canadian. Thank you. Alright. Alright. Maybe streets home. Oh, we're, at, we're in Manchester, like at Limit. There's a car mat right at Limit, so. Why is everything like Chinese in the car? Like with the writing? Yeah. Oh, Chinese, this is Japanese. Oh. Okay, we're gonna look at this one. The other one was like 8 point something million. Who's buying that now? Me! <laughs> this place is called Cuddy Cuds. Okay. Oh, that G4 Subaru. Yep. G4 Subaru. How much is this? Uh, 150. Uh, I have to redo this. Alright. This is okay, the inside is okay. What year is it? 2014. Huh. You would have to wash the car every day. Because of the seat cover. Like the color of this. It get dust dirty easy with this beige. This one is a little bit yo, it's so hot in here. I would have to redo this. Ask him what year this is. What year car is this? This is 2014 Axio. This one's okay. The what did you call it? The car seat covers are, are like really light, so you would have to be always washing them. I would personally have to always wash them all the time because I don't like seeing dirt. Car seat, the car seat covers. Yeah, let's keep a monkey ball. This one's 2015. It looks like that. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. This is the 2014 over there. Yeah. This is 2015. All the cars in down here, their gear stick is so low. That is not low. Yeah, it is. You don't think so? Yeah. Oh, I'm a bus! Okay, so we're still looking. We're just looking. I'm trying to see what I'm minimizing what I do like in a car and what I don't like in a car. We're in Christiana and we're at this primary. We're going to every local one. 
Legend Auto Sale and Trade. We're in Christiana. No. Oh, this is the door. He said the car's too big for me. They only have like four. Hi. They only have like four cars here. The inside, do you like the inside? It's pushed right in there. It's okay. It's spacious. Price. One six. One six. Oh, that's not too bad. Ask him what year it is. My hair. What year? Two thousand eight. Like It's okay. Okay, so now we're in um, like Mandeville area. Like on the road, if we went to Spur Tree, so we're at this part right here. So we're gonna look around and see. So far, I haven't really seen anything. They're saying that they like the. Sorry, guys. They're saying that they like the Honda. What is it? The Fits. Fits. But I don't know. It's kind of small. this even though we're not buying it so what is it this is the bed what year do you think this is this is all this is not bad i actually like this color for seats no this is a this is a bmw but it looks the exact same the only thing is like so the this is an audi audi is like one of my dream brands i love audis i like their branding I wonder how much they're selling this one for. Really? This looks more newer than a 2014. The insides of them are all the same. This is the next up to you. Come with the rings. What? Nicole, I'm not sure. This is a market. This is a market? Oh. This. This is nice. Oh, this is like the crown thing that we saw in Christiana, the same brand. This is the first I'm seeing this brand, but not bad. Okay, so, so far we're just looking. Some of the cars are nice, right? I'm still trying to see something that I like though. That's what I'm trying to get hungry. It's like this one is a 2011. I don't want no light colored seats. That's the only thing though. Easy for dirty. You want something like leather shirt. Yeah. yeah. And plus I love going to the beach and stuff. Mm -hmm. Hi. Do you work here? Yeah. Okay, what's the price for this one? One three. Oh, okay. And what it's year is bad. it? 2011, right? Okay. We're at the second car mart. So this one is easier because it has the prices on them. Between this this one is not easy. I'm not sure. This, car, this place is easier because they have the pricing on the cars. So I can just look and whatever's in my budget, I just look inside of it, basically. I like over here, so. You like over here? Mm-hmm. Because I'll tell you the prices. This one's 1.2 at 2010. I just don't like the inside of the cars, though. 1.7. These cars are so small. Mm. <laughs> look how small it, it is. Like the one of These are like taxi cars. I need you to introduce yourself to the, I was telling them, I was telling everyone in the video that you're the top tattoo artist. All right, that's it, man. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever come to Spallings, you guys have to go to him. Yeah, My man. sisters go to him. So you know the thing is legit. Legit. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> yeah, man, add tattoo, man. Grato boss. Where are you located? It's Sample Plaza. Yeah, Orange Plaza. Yeah, it's orange like this place here. Yeah. And you can find him. Just so make ask. sure when you guys go say that I I sent you, so he knows exactly. <laughs> oh dear man. Yeah. Let's look into this one here. The inside is nice. That's, that price, no. Yeah. This one is 1.8. Guys, I might as well like up my budget to two million. I like this. The one that I like sold. No! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I want to 
Yeah. And take the care, you know. Yeah, forward, but. Yeah. But I see just make me a good up and take the care, you know. Yeah. And a robbery do. Like this. Oh, this hand. Yeah. HRP. Love Oh, we did see this. This is nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so this is the one that we're at. He has USB, he said. What about this car? I never know if. Oh, this is so ugly. Unlock this one. Oh. I mean, like, oh, you want so to pull on it? Oh, yes, on How much is this one? This smells good in here. Million twenty. How much? Huh? Million twenty. Oh. Let me see. The inside is open. We're at another car mart. This one's a 2012. Uh, 2012. Honda Accord. Ugh. The inside is okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just so hot right now. So how come they don't write the prices on the cars? Guys, think. Guys, think can talk, but price them can reason, but. So, I'm hot. I'm sweating. I was even. I didn't want to wear makeup, but I wanted to look cute in this video, so I decided to because I knew I was gonna walk around and stuff, and my shoulder is burning. But so far, so far, like all the cars are, are so much money. I don't know what to do. I need help. And, like some of the cars, like the inside is just like. Broke up. You guys saw the Honda. Oh my god, I didn't tell you. The Honda was the 2006. Broke up. It was so broke up. And like, one of the guys were saying like, uh, oil leak inside the car and stuff. Like, it's a 2006. You're charging $10,000 for a 2006 car. The inside has wear and tear as you saw. And I don't know what to say. Dirty. My lace is lifting and stuff, but. Dirty. Yeah. So, I don't want to buy an old car. And I don't want to be saving for 20 years. Just to buy a little car. This one's a Suzuki. She loves the big stuff. Let me know. I like this. Okay, so this car is leaking oil too, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get something nice. And then this one as well is leaking. Gwen, I came. Say hi to my vlog. Why are you always on video me? He's at work. So do you have the pricing on the cars or do you have to tell me all the pricing? Okay, look at this one. This one is a 2003. They're charging 850. Hey, what happened now? What were you saying? So you see Kara nice. This is it? This is, I'm, I can't handle this. Oh my. No, this is way too big for me. It even has, this is a lot of work. Go, I didn't want to lease or finance no car. Yo. I'm just not into those type of yeah, stuff. I just want to wrap you though. With what? Make a dig 50 yam meal. Wait, what? <laughs> yam? <laughs> yeah, I make a dig 50 yam meal, but can you not know a rap G? Okay, let me tell you, people are trying to say, oh, I should probably lease or finance, but I'm not into those type of lifestyles. I'm not into the debt lifestyle. I'm not into Cash. owing money. I understand that you're going to get the car new with no problems. I know all of that, but cars devalue. 
Yo, you ever hear that Jamaican say no? Up with the money or I go down in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this man come from? Well, basically, that's that's what it yeah. is. You have Open to buy cash, money, man. Cash, man. Can't trust car. We don't trust Yeah, we don't do that. And cars devalue, like, mm. what, I don't even know what to compare it to, but we cars devalue. Yeah. We're right there. We're CM night, you know? Yeah. Or a CM day. Okay, we're in Mandeville Town. I don't have water. I forgot to tell you guys some websites that you can go on. So there's Auto Ads, yeah, JA. There's Just Drive, JA. There's JAcars.net. But if you guys have any more, you guys are gonna write them in the comment section. And I'll link the ones that I used in the description bar as well. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh yeah, and then you can like, if you see a car on the road that says for sale, you can just buy a car from someone that, that has a for sale sign on it. And you just call the number and contact them. But the thing is, you guys have to bring a mechanic because I had made sure that I brought a mechanic with me because when we went to some of the car marts, I mean, when we were looking at the cars, you can tell like the mechanic found some faults and stuff like that. So you have to be careful because me just looking at the car, I wouldn't know that. I just look at how it looks on the outside, if it's my budget, the year, the kilometers, and that's really it. Oh, also, when it comes to used cars, literally any car that drives off the lot of a dealership, it's considered used. So you can get used cars for like low mileage. And then some of these car marts are trying to sell people like, cars with high kilometers like almost basically 200,000 kilometers who's buying that for 1 million so this is day two we're gonna go to Kingston there's some cars that I saw online that I'm gonna go and check out today you can't buy nothing for 1 million down here so you need your budget I would say you have your budget 1.5 and you should be good you can't really buy much but like you can buy like Nissan Titas and like those are cheap cars like the inside the interior and stuff is like the most cheapest cars yeah so we're gonna go Amazing. Way better than country facing. Okay. Okay, this car is 1.39, but they're obviously gonna get it for one and it's stick. It's funny. Yeah. It's cute. It's standard, it's cute. Tell me if I look good. I already done 1.29, but 1 million now. You want the steering up so I can let you drive? What? Girl. I already done to the 1.29. 1 million now. Too small. Yeah, we are in Kingston. Yeah, Okay, hopefully my glasses aren't crooked because I sat on them. Okay, let me tell you guys what happened in Kingston. When we were in Kingston, right, and we called a man to look at his car, he was like, yeah, like, this is when we were at the car mart downtown, which I showed you, and I was sharing with you that the cars, the prices of the cars and were very affordable. So while we were looking there, the man called back. He's like, hey, like, can we meet at the Scotia Bank at Tremont? I said, okay, perfect, no problem. The Scotia Bank at Tremont is a public place and it's near like downtown, right? So anyway, so we go, so I'm like, yeah, no problem. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. He's like, yeah, me too. And then we leave out around like, like five minutes later. And then Matt calls back. He's like, hey, like instead of Tremont, can you meet me? Um, in front, there's some road on Olympic Way. I forget the name of the road, but he told us to meet him there at the front of it. Okay, he's like, oh, I'm at the front, parked with like a silver car. Okay, and I was like, yeah, sure, because if you didn't know Olympic Way, the road is busy. It's like a high traffic area. I'm like, okay, there's nothing wrong 
was being yelled in a big way right in front of the this like, community. He's like he's right at the front in front of his car. So me and all my friends are just like, yeah, like no problem. Whatever, so we go, and then he calls back again. He's like, no, like, can you actually meet me at this community? I don't know why the name's not coming, because it took me so long to record this. So we're like, um, how do you get there? So he told us, it's just like, st still on Olympic Way, and then once you reach, like, the intersection. We love to Anyways, it's basically near. So he gave us the instructions where to go be reached, and then... I called him back. Well, we called him back. We're like, uh, we're here, but we don't see you at the front <laughs> of the community. He was like, yeah, mom, just drive in, drive in. And we're like, no, like, we're not driving in. Like, are we at the right place? Because we don't see you. We see, like, a red truck. But he was like, no, man, like, y'all can see me, Brenda. He's standing at the front, just driving, driving, driving. And we're like, we don't see you. Like, we see a red truck, and then we see, like, a delivery bread truck. Like, we don't see you with a silver car. Da, da, da. He's like, oh, oh, I know where you guys are. I know where you guys are. And we're like, okay, come meet us then if you know where we are. He's like, no, man, just drive in and make the next right and then make the left, next left. And we were like, no, like, why can't you meet us if you know where we are? Why are you trying to tell us to drive into a community we didn't even know and meet you? And I was like, no, 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 no. My panic was like, it's either you, he's like, you have to come meet us. You have to come meet us, right? And then the man was like, no, man, no, no, no. And then we were like, no, 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 we're out of here. We cut, we cut because we're like, this man is shady and he's weird. If you know where we are, why don't you come? And if we're lost, like, we're like, where are you? We don't see you. Why, why is it so hard for you to come to us if you know where we are with the car? He wants us to come directly to his house or wherever. And like, it was so shady that we're like, we're out of here. We cut so quick. We didn't know what this man, what his intentions were or anything like that. So you guys be safe. Good thing. Like, just be safe because... I don't know like what this man and this man seemed like he was an old man too make sure you guys be safe and we left we were not taking no risk no chance we're not driving in no in kingston you don't just pull up and drive around in any community while you're in town like don't do that don't like no so we were like i'm like no i'm not going to no one's community i'm not going to no one's k i'm not taking no next right and that no ne le next left and yeah that was really it <laughs> i'm laughing now but like looking back at it we were like this man was weird like he was shady so yeah. Okay, I'm at the ATM in Christiana. This is the new MCV that they opened up. It's nicer, but they should have left it in small. Listen, I don't want you guys to see this side of me and I've always like tried to avoid like talking about these things on camera. But I do talk about these things in the person, but not on camera. But listen, I have to share these things with you guys. You guys said that you guys want to see the both the bad and the ugly. But Jamaica, I'm going to tell you guys what, what happened today at MoneyGram. I went to MoneyGram today, okay? I had to give you guys a backstory before I start into the story so you guys can have an understanding. But I'm going to try to skim over this story quick so it doesn't like take too long. MoneyGram and Spallings, okay? We've been going to them for years. Like even when I was in high school. So I would say like more than 10 years we've been going to that MoneyGram. Perfect. Nothing's wrong. Everyone's polite, respectful. It's a little bit slow. Even people from Christiana come to the one in Smalling because like it's just really good, right? Thursday, I went to MoneyGram, okay? Now, let me tell you guys what happened. Because of the whole COVID-19 thing, they have to hire a security guard to open and close the gate and spray our hands, okay? I go, I wait in line for like 10 years. I, I, well, we have to be waiting outside then. Only like five people are allowed in the building. And I see this man, okay, the security guard. I've seen him on the town multiple times, like Spalling's town multiple times, but it seems like he does like odd jobs here and there. Um, which we're going to talk about as well. This dirty drunk crow, he has no manner. So when I first met him and I'm going into going to MoneyGram, he just, he was saying rude stuff. And I was like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Like, he, he just had no manners. He wasn't polite, disrespectful, all that. So I go inside. I'm waiting in line. So we're all waiting in line. And people are getting aggravated because they're dealing with one person at the counter for more than 10 minutes. So everyone's just like, yo, what is happening? Like, is there only one person working? Ray, ray, ray. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Other people go up to him, ask him what's happening. He's rude to those people too. I said, no, 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 no. I cannot be waiting in here for so long and they're only dealing with one person. Okay, so I turned to him. I said, sir, excuse me. Can I speak to your soup? Uh, can I speak to the manager? He said, the manager's not here. I said, okay, no problem. Let me speak to the supervisor. No. I said, what do you mean, no? He's like, no. I was like, go get your supervisor. I need to talk to your supervisor. He's like, why do you need to talk to your supervisor? I said, I'm not telling you why I'm going to be speaking to the supervisor. Go get the supervisor. Ask politely for you to go get the supervisor. Go on, go get the supervisor. This man saying no. 
you can just tell me tell me and i'll help you i said sir i'm not telling you why i'm talking to the supervisor you're only a security guard um you open and close door and you spray people's hands why would i tell you my personal business the man's like started basically started arguing with me saying what if i was a supervisor what i said sir listen supervisors don't do those type of work and i'm still being nice to him and then at this point i got fed up and i started calling him a dunce but i said look dunce but idiot boy i said you're so stupid i said he's telling me to tell him my business i said sir if i'm not going to repeat myself twice twice because if i tell you and you can't help me and you have to go get the supervisor i'm going to be upset because i just want the supervisor when someone requests the supervisor manager you have to okay the man doesn't want to go get it he's like well you're just going to stay there because i'm not getting the supervisor or your tape whatever i cuss him off i done him in the whole place i don't care in front of anyone i call I, I i don't like being rude to people but once people choose to be ignorant i don't like it because you're choosing at this point to be ignorant the man's a big 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 big, big grown man big argument happened on thursday all right sorry the sun's gonna be changing because it's the evening now fast forward to today i'm in line i wake up early okay with jamaica let me tell you guys there's something with jamaica you have to wake up early just to do something when it has to do with government places or just money grammar with me it's gonna take a whole day because people are slow i've reached in spallings about eight o'clock of the night when i reach spallings money grams locked and there's four people ahead of me waiting in line i said perfect amazing we're early today so i'm holding the line for morse time cooking's mom because morse time cooking mom is at work but she gets a little break and she wanted me to hold the line for her right there was no security guard for like a good three hours okay like it was weird so people people are doing their own thing people are walking into the building buildings packed up with people uh people people are outside waiting and then I saw someone that works there, but I'm like, I think this guy's the supervisor. He's the supervisor. And actually, it's not, I think, I knew he was. Oh, this is why we had to wait for so long. There was no money there. As soon as money came, everyone, like, people who weren't even waiting as early as us, they started barging and trying to go at the front of the door. I mean, front of the line. I said, no, 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 no. I've been waking, waiting here for so long. People are so dis disgusting down here. Listen, down here, you have to be aggressive. That's just how the culture is. You have to be aggressive. You have to push your way through. You have to act the most way, okay? So I said, uh-uh, not today nobody's waiting the whole day when i have other things to do right so i went inside and i saw the man i said sir excuse me i said sir are you the supervisor he said i mean i said sir what's your position here he said he's a supervisor i said okay sir sir i've been waiting here since eight o'clock before you guys even opened and these people here they're trying to come in front of us and that's unfair because we're waiting he said okay no problem let me sort out the line we'll put you guys at the front so he's doing that very polite very nice he's polite he's kind he's young right <sighs> oh my god just so frustrating I noticed it was the same security guard I was arguing with on 30. I said, God, God. I said, today, if me and him catch up in an argument, I just knew because, yo, the way me and him argued on Thursday and I told him about his self, I, me, like, I knew if I talked to him today, it would be way worse. And that this is what happened, okay? I see more time mom cooking still outside and the gates closed. I said, Pauline, you're right behind um, this lady. Tell the security guard to bring you in and let him know Ray Ray Ray, right? The man's just like, oh, what him say? He said, like, you just giving her a beer attitude, right? So I'm just like, no, 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 this man is, so, yo, this man is so rude, right? The amount of money that, um, Pauline, like, more, more time cooking mom was collecting and the lady ahead of me was collecting, it was a lot. So the supervisor personally came out to them because he was going through the line, checking um, the amounts of everyone. And he said, okay, you, 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 punting out a certain amount of people said, since you guys are collecting a, a large sum amount, um, just wait 30 more minutes and let me get let let's have all these people come to you because it's a small amount they're collecting you guys stand over here or you guys just wait and in 30 minutes we'll we'll come back to the front of the line and we'll cash you through our 30 minutes come and that's when that's when more time cooking mom came the ladies there and all the people who are supposed to get the large sum of money came right listen to me this is where everything kick off so the man is being disrespectful to more times cooking mom right and i just heard more time cooking mom just Questing down the whole spallings like we're at the front of the money ground. She's questioning, telling him more. I'm at work. I've been waiting since this, 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 right? And I'm trying to explain to them. The man's like, ah, right? Turning his head, very disrespectful. So, most time, cooking mom was asking for the supervisor. Yo, when I heard her ask for the supervisor more than five times, six times, right? So I said, ah, oh, let me go up to the front. So I went up to the front and I said, sir, I need you to go get the supervisor because the supervisor actually told us to come back in 30 minutes and he'll deal with us. Man's turning his head. <laughs> right questioning people and cussing people off and stuff i said i said uh oh not today not today so as soon as he opened the gate to i guess someone was coming out um mind you guys i didn't tell you guys outside there's like i would say 100 people waiting to go into moneygram like they're so slow that that's how backed up the line is okay i'm telling you everything happened in front of this big huge crowd right so i touched the gate and i said okay i'm gonna go in so I touched the gate to step in because I told him on some time, get the supervisor. Since he's not going to get the supervisor, clearly we have to step. I touched the gate. I touched a girl and I stepped. As soon as I stepped, the man turns around. The man pushed me, 
pushed me the security guard pushed me i forgot what he said first he said something really fast and then he pushed me bro first when he pushed me i stopped and i looked down at my chest because he pushed me right here he went like this boof and pushed me right i said i stopped <laughs> i looked down at my chest and i looked back up at him yo i said oh where you just right here in the red, so I'm waiting for him to turn around. Rude, pushing people. You guys have his face. <laughs> Listen, I was telling him about his clout hole. Like, I don't want to swear and I don't want to act a certain way, but people like him, you have to just, yo, and what, you know what I did? I chucked back off at them and I pushed the man, I pushed back the security guard. And the man's trying to, so I'm, I'm still holding onto the girl after when I done pushed him and I grabbed back onto the girl again, right? Cousin, cousin, boys time cooking mom is trying to drag me, tell me, hey, do it, just come, just come, just come. I said, I'm not going nowhere, I'm collecting my money. I was here from 8 o'clock and this is happening around 11, 12 o'clock at this point, me and him fighting. So time cooking mom is pulling me. Listen, I never knew that lady was so strong the way she was pulling me. I want to get my money that I've been waiting respectfully and decently for for so long. The thing is, we went to Money Ram on Saturday and they turned like a good like 80 people away. They're saying that they're not giving out no more money. I guess they reached their limit on how much money they were able to take. So the whole place was cussing. I wasn't cussing because I personally got through, but I was waiting for someone to go through. So they had to, oh, it was with Morse time cooking mama was waiting on Saturday for her to get through because I got through, we were waiting for her and then they sent everyone away. So people are upset. So people came back Monday morning early and then this man in his foolishness, right? After when I pushed him and I'm cussing, cussing, he was like, hey, she, he was like, hey. And then he act like he was gonna pull out his gun to shoot me. I said, who are you really going to shoot? Who are you really going to shoot? I'm like, girl, guys, if you ever see me in real life, I'm skinny, okay? I'm skinny, I'm a young girl. When he did the whole motion, like, let me see if I can stand up. He went like this to try and pull out his gun and his shirt flew up to act like he was reaching for his gun to shoot me. And I was like, who are you trying to shoot? I'm like, big man, like you trying to fight little Pickney. Look how small I am and you're trying to fight me because I put my, I, I stepped in. I was, guys, listen, I was not trying to force my way in. I don't do that stuff. I'm very, very respectful. I'm such a nice girl. I'm tired of him saying no. And we have right as, we have the right as a customer to ask for the owner, the manager, the supervisor. He has no right as a security guard to say no. Who are you? You're a security guard. He's like, yo, hey, hey, hey. And then he, I let go of the girl at that point, right? He he walked to like the back of MoneyGram. So like he was walking, he's like, hey, hey. And he turned back around, he's like, yo, man, I lock up, yo, please, yo. And then he locked up the plate, like he locked the girl. And then people started cutting. This is when I was like, hey, boy, what y'all do? We want to get with money. And people are cussing, you know, Jamaican people want people, are, the whole place is cussing him down. I turned around and I didn't, when I turned around, I didn't notice there was a big, huge crowd like that, bro. It was so crazy. I'm calling people, I'm calling me, yo, people are on their way. Why would you touch me? Why would you push me? And no one touched you, right? I'm like, I didn't even touch you and you pushed me. The man's like, oh, are you pushed me first? Are you pushed me first? People are like, they can't never touch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm reporting you at the police. I said, yo, as soon as I told him that I'm reporting him to the police, as soon as I said that, I blinked and then I opened back my eyes. The security guard had left the establishment. He picked his bag and took off. Like, no one literally knew where he went. He left. He cut. As soon as I said, I'm calling the police, he cut because he knew he was in the wrong. Why are you pushing someone for? And you, as a security guard, have no right. No one touched you. No one tried barging in. The the gate was open and I just took advantage of the opportunity to go get the supervisor myself. Apologizing, um, this and that. Very nice, very nice and decent and kind, right? Speaking of that, when they brought me to the back, the girls then at MoneyGram were shopping on Amazon while they were helping people with their transactions, which, what the hell? Anyways, so, um, he was apologizing. He's like, he's like, we don't know where the security guard went. He took off, like, we're gonna have to try and find him. We're gonna have to deal with him. And then I was telling them, I'm like, I need his contact information because I'm going to report him to the police station. Like, you can tell that they are actually so, like, they, they're mad that it happened. Like, the security guard would do something like that. And they're so mad that it happened to me. They were like, look how small you are. And the, the big girl in the security guard is trying to fight you. So right now, they're just checking, like, the serial number of the car and everything to make sure this ain't no stolen car that I'm not getting scammed or anything. So, <sighs> okay, guys, I'm finally... I finally found the car. Here's a little sneak peek. I can't show too much. I'm just joking. But I finally, okay, listen, I finally found the car. I'm so, 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 so thankful. Okay, this is it. And then the windows go in and out. So like when you park up the car and stuff, like it'll go in. I don't know why it's not doing it now. I'm still used to this and it's keyless entry. Yeah. This man keeps on chatting <laughs> in the red shirt. It's really simple, but it's nice. See, and then the seats are actually like black, which I wanted because I didn't want a light color seats because guys, I'm a germaphobe. If I see dirt, it bothers me a lot. Okay. 
Yeah, these are like Japanese cars. Oh, that's another thing with Jamaica. Like a majority of the cars are from like what Japan, right? Yeah. And I can talk on here when I'm on my phone. It, you know, like the regular. Cute. This looks better on the phone than in camera. Thank God. Listen, I only showed you guys a portion of the car searching process, okay? We went to King's Time. We went all over the place. And it was the most exhausting process of my whole entire life, okay? But I have to thank God. I'm so thankful because I'm done with this. This chapter is done for now of my life. And I'm not going back. Thank God. The one thing that my mom told me when I told her that I was buying a car, the one thing that she said... And she just said one sentence. She was just like, don't make people influence you and tell you what to buy. And that was the most powerful statement someone could say because throughout this whole process, people were telling me to buy this car and don't buy this car. It was just so annoying. So I made sure that I just picked a car that I genuinely felt like all the money that I worked and saved, I would feel good about buying it. And I felt good about buying this car because it's really nice on the inside and I really cared about how the inside was because I wanted my driving experience to be comfortable. I have to say thank God, like, thank God. And speaking of God, if you guys want to go on YouTube and follow or subscribe to any God stuff, my mom has a YouTube channel. She just posts like a lot of God things. And I know a lot of you who watch me believe in God because when I posted Nana's graduation vlog, which I'm going to link so you guys can watch, all of you guys are cussing me in the comments saying that how I was rude for saying that I don't like how they have church ceremonies in graduations because it just makes the whole process long. I still said what I said, and I still think it's annoying. You guys can cuss me all you want, but I know a lot of um, Christian people are watching me. So you guys go follow my mom, subscribe to her, and you guys can subscribe to my sister's channel, Kamisha Adams as well. She does a lot of videos and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go over a few things because I have to share every single thing with you guys. Let's talk about the left-hand drive. So you're gonna find that a lot of, a lot of Hondas down here are left-hand drive. It's really weird, I don't know why. And they're very affordable down here, like they're cheap. And the reason why they're cheap as hell is because they're left-hand drives and no one's really driving left-hands down here. I would not recommend any of you guys um, buying left-hand drives down here. Yes, they're nice, the price is nice, but it's not worth it because your insurance is going to be higher. And everything down here is built for driving on, a, on the right-hand side. So if you go to the drive through to like KFC or Burger King or something, you're gonna be on the left-hand side, but the microphone to talk to the people's way on the other side of your car. So it's not worth it. That's actually embarrassing. Don't do it. And like when you go to the tolls and stuff, the tolls is all on the right-hand side of the car. And you're gonna be way on the left. So that's embarrassing. Like it's not worth it's not worth saving money for. So there's some there's like a nice BMW that I saw, but I'm like, oh, it's left hand. That's why it was so cheap. So I didn't get that. So if I was any of you guys, I wouldn't recommend. Now, next thing down here, a lot of people are gonna tell you to buy either a Toyota or yeah, Toyota and Honda. Uh, people are gonna tell you don't buy any other brand. You don't buy a BMW, don't buy a uh, Subaru, don't buy uh, what else is there? A Mitsubishi. Like people will tell you don't buy no other brand but Toyota and Honda. Don't listen to nobody, buy what you want. You're gonna say, oh, parts are so hard to get. Da, 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 da. Buy what you want, don't listen to people. People are gonna try and discourage, discourage you and it's annoying because people were telling me the same thing. Um, but I ended up with the Toyota. <laughs> because this one was nice. But um, I looked at other brands and I considered them. Like a Nissan, people are gonna tell you don't buy Nissan either down here. Okay, so next thing is that people down here, like in Jamaica, they don't really care about kilometers, okay? They care about if the car clean. <laughs> so if the kilometers is high on the car, like say you're getting a car for 200, 000, with 200,000 kilometers, people are gonna say, I don't know nothing that. I don't know nothing that car clean and nice. They're gonna still charge you three million to buy the car and you're just like, but the car is, take that into consideration. You can't you can't change people pricing down here. You'll tell them and you'll explain to them like, you know, the kilometers is 200,000, but blah, they don't business. They're gonna say car clean. My price is 1.8 and that's it. I'm not changing. I don't care about kilometers. So that's how they work down here. Overall, I would say to you guys, I'm not going to say living in Jamaica is easy. It's really not. It's hard. Cost of living is high. They make everything difficult down here because imagine me just buying the car was so stressful. Everything like in Canada, this could never happen. Like this would never happen. And I would get a very nice car for like $10,000 down here. I just got mediocre and it's like not even a new newer type of car so you guys have to take that into consideration 2015 and above you're probably spending like three million which is like thirty thousand Canadian and up up and that's a minimum like even a car in my budget I got lucky with this car okay and I had to up my budget even past the ten thousand just to get this car so this is something you guys want to consider um and I'm just thankful I'm just gonna get someone to pray over this car so when I'm driving everything is fine and the people who I bought from was professional. I think that's really it for this video. Okay, we went to a car mart in Mandeville, Jamaica, and um, the car mart. I was gonna buy an SUV, guys. This SUV was nice. 
<laughs> it was so nice and I, I was sold on it. Like we were about to buy it and then I was like, okay, the mechanic was looking and everything. Um, and then the mechanic looked inside the engine and noticed that there was oil and water mixed together. So we couldn't get the, everything about the SUV was just Anisha Adams, right? And I was just like, see, the car marks are not honest. People think that it's individual people who are like dishonest. It's not, okay? So you just have to pick the correct people. Feel them out, always go. People, you guys probably thought I did this all by myself in the vlog. No, you guys saw Annie, you guys saw everybody else. I go with a lot of people, I just don't show them because not everyone wants to be on camera, right? I went with more than two people, okay? The car, this is it. For today's video i think in another vlog i'll show you guys like the insurance me getting insurance the plates the fitness everything like that i don't think this vlog is probably way too long so give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see the whole process of getting like insurance license registration everything like that okay i'll show that in another vlog but yeah that's it for today's video i'm gonna go eat my box food that i bought